Hey, what's up guys? Hope you have a great day today. So today we'll be implementing the priori algorithm over Python, the market basket analysis. Before that, let's go ahead and check out the definition. Now, this is the definition, but in easier terms, if I explain you what a priori algorithm is used for, let's say you own a superstore. Right now, in that superstore, you have, uh, after your one month sales, you notice that this butter and bread has been purchased together by the most majority time. So in order to boost your sales, what you're going to do is that you're going to keep butter and bread stacked next to each other. So if a customer is passing that aisle and they basically pick up butter as first and then they're going to pick up bread also. So this will increase your sales and it's a, it's basically used as well in many in marketplaces today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the data set that we'll be using at first. All right, let's go check that out. Okay guys, so this is the data set that we'll be using and I pulled this data set off from Kaggle. It's the market basket optimization data set and you can see we have items in it as well and it's pretty long items down here. Okay, it's pretty long. So let's go ahead and check out the Python implementation now. Okay, so basically we always I have imported pandas for the data set. Now we a data set which I am being which is being read as market basket optimization. Now I want to see the length of these, that how many total items are in this. So I create total underscore records and I want to see the length of this data set. So let's go ahead and check that out. And it shows us 7,501 items are there. Like this is the amount of records, right? So now I want to convert this into a list. So I created records, that's a list. And for i in range, where zero equals to total, uh, zero, to the range is zero to 7501, that's your total records. Now records dot append and a string in the string are the data set dot values i comma k for k in range 0 to 20 all right now i'm training the algorithm now from app yori basic you'll have to pip install app yori in the beginning of this uh, algorithm all right i've already done that so that's why it's working for me but you guys gotta do that now from app yori you gotta import app yori and association rules is uh, basically app yori in which i have these a records minimum supported that 0.053 and you have minimum confidence that 0.20 and the minimum lift that's 3 and minimum length is 2 alright now I want to see the association rules results as well basically so I'm going to check it out from the list with rules so I'm basically going to print this out for you guys to see I'm going to take with the index 0 and we're going to see the length of this as well right as in what it shows so let's go ahead and check that out. Probably will take a certain time for it to calculate. So here we got it. And uh, as you can see, we got mushroom cream sauce escalope out here. Now the confidence has come as 0.30069 and the lift has come as 3.7908. And the length of this is 32, right? So now basically it's uh, not, we can't really understand what's written in this because it's pretty, uh, jumbled up so I want to straighten them up in separate columns so I created a list by the name of results and I for made a for loop where I have grocery and desco items in association results all right now pair equals to grocery items here that's the first value of the pair now items equals to x for x in pair all right now I'm creating five values value 0 value 1 and value 2. Now guys just be careful when you're writing this. This is items and this is grocery underscore item. Alright. Now with the 7 basically it shows that this ends with 7. Alright. This is the first item and the second item and then the third item. Alright. Now I created variable rows in which I've added value 0, value 1, value 2, value 3 and value 4. Alright. Now I've had results to depend. I've added this as well separately in the rows. And I've created these labels as list 1 list 2 you got the support list the confidence list and the lift list also right list uh, the lift basically indicates a uh, stronger association as well now i put this in a data frame and i call that store and underscore deals all right as in like i'm creating deals for my store so what deal should i create together to promote so i have pd dot data frame dot from records results all right that's this list and the columns are labels as in i'm putting these columns now i'm going to print the store details and let's check that out all right guys so you can now see that we have got the output as well now as you can see these are the values and uh, here let's say this is list one your list one list two the labels that we created 
and you got the pairs that these items should be sold together and the support of the 0.0573 the confidence of it that it's going to be sold is 0.30069 and the lift is such so like this you can create pairs and you can like stack up your products together like let's say someone buys chips and they make sure they buy soft drinks as well so you can stack up your products using this algorithm as well and it's going to be beneficial for you if you're running a store so if you have any further questions you can comment down below in the comment section i'll get back to you as well thank you so much for watching this video i hope you have a great day